All right, we're back again, and now what I want to do is I'm going to actually just remove these guys from my server. So I'm going to right-click and say Add Remove and Remove All. Don't need them out there for now. And now I'm going to build a new project. So we did the basic E6 web one, but we first did the HTML5 one, and you kind of saw those the difference between those two. I'm now going to do the Rich Faces one. And in the Rich Faces one, I'm going to hit Next and Rich Faces Web. Take those defaults, that's fine, and hit Finish. Again, it goes through the process of using the archetype to produce on disk the actual Rich Faces project, and in this case, the template project, that kitchen sink project that we've been seeing so far. And then it, of course, has to do the import, get everything sorted out from a Maven standpoint, get all the facets sorted out. So it does take a moment. You can see right here it says uh, not responding, but it's going through its process. We'll just give it a second. One thing I like about the Rich Faces one that we'll get a chance to show you when this thing finishes up is that we've um, augmented that base E6 application with Rich Faces. Rich Faces is a series of components that uh, allows you to extend JSF. Probably the easiest place to go check out uh, Rich Faces is through its showcase. So while that thing is running, let's go let's go do that. So if I go to richfaces.org and click on the showcase here, you can see showcase.richfaces.org. You can kind of walk through and interact with different aspects, different controls and inputs that are out there. Uh, or input types, I guess you could say, specifically associated with Rich Faces. So Rich Faces has a lot of different properties, a lot of different capabilities, but it's really kind of fun to kind of uh, get a chance to see some of these guys in action. Like here's a nice little HTML editor. I can kind of come in here and highlight something and then make it uh, bold or italics. You know, so those kind of concepts of adding some really rich capability are obviously not in the generic E6 baseline, but here they are inside of Rich Faces. You know, so now a little menu bar. Let's see if that guy's done yet. Oh, still working. There we go. Hit finish. Now if I come in here and, and let you look at this application, let's drill down here. So the the server side of this is identical basically to what you had earlier. Okay, so it has the member.java again and has the rest one points. But the real distinction about this one is if I come in here to the web app section, you can see there's a mobile section and a desktop section. And I want to show you the rich faces and resources and includes and components. That component is what I'm looking for. And here's the member form XHTML. So this form is very special. All right, so this is the form you've seen embedded in the page. But if I click on it, notice it's um it has this rich validator. So this basically is the magic that says for those validation rules that have been identified, like phone number and email, uh, on the JPA entity itself, I want those inherited by this form. So this is something that only rich faces can do uh, from uh, from that perspective. In other words, you can't get this out of plain old Java E6. You got to use rich faces to get that capability. So let's do a run on server and get this guy running and hit finish. So again, it's going to go through the Maven process of bundling that up, um, compiling it, packaging it, and deploying it through our integration of Maven and WTP, which is a project that's been recently donated to Eclipse.org. Okay, so here's the desktop look of that application. Let me look at the mobile version. So this one has been mobilized as well. Okay, the Rich Faces team did a great job giving us a mobile version of this. And let me move this over here. And let's hit Add Member. And let's say, um, let's put in Burr Sutter. Something. Hit Notice, as soon as I leave that field, I get the error message. So it's not going to let me leave the field um, until I get something right. Okay, and then again, I got to have a well formed email address. Get the right thing in there and put in something bad there. Again, has to have numbers between 10 and 12. So let's get that right. Okay, now what ha watch the uh, desktop application running back in Eclipse there. As soon as I hit register, so they're taking advantage of another Rich Faces function called uh, push feature that they have that basically allows you to, as soon as you update one user interface or one user updates the user interface, everyone gets to see that change. So in this case, even though uh, I have this Eclipse browser running here, it actually received the update at the same time the, the client side, uh, the mobile browser side did that as well. All right, and that's the, the key aspects of Rich Faces I wanted to point out to you in a very short period of time. Again, you can find that Rich Faces archetype right here on JBoss Central.